To create a recovery drive in Windows, begin by clicking the Start button, and then type Create a Recovery Drive. In the search results, click Create a Recovery Drive. It'll ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes. Click Yes. When the Create a Recovery Drive window opens, you'll have two options. If you uncheck this box next to Backup System Files to the Recovery Drive, then you'll just be creating a basic recovery drive that allows you to boot to Advanced Startup, where you can troubleshoot Windows, run Startup Repair, and Reset Windows, amongst various other options. If you leave this box checked, you can also use the recovery drive to reinstall Windows in the event that something is wrong with your Windows installation and you're unable to use your computer's built-in recovery options. Whichever option you decide to go with, make sure that you have a USB flash drive plugged into your computer, and then click Next. After a few moments, you'll be brought to this screen, where you can select the USB flash drive that you plugged into your computer. Since I checked the box to back up system files, I need a drive that can hold at least 16 gigabytes. Also, keep in mind that everything on the flash drive is going to be deleted during this process. Select your drive, and when you're ready, click Next. It'll warn you again that everything on the drive is going to be deleted. When you're ready, click Create. It'll begin creating your recovery drive. If you choose to back up system files, then this process could take a very long time to complete. Once it's finished, it'll let you know that the recovery drive is ready. Click Finish, and you're done. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site, and don't forget to subscribe.